Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so as highly requested, I'm gonna go over today how to back up your GoodNotes files as PDF files, and also how to save them as a GoodNotes file should you need that later on. Um, I'm gonna try to be as quick as I can with, while still giving all the information. Um, so this is going to be um, me using GoodNotes Five. The process is nearly identical in GoodNotes 4. However, starting this month, January of 2020, GoodNotes 4 is no longer supported. So if you haven't made the switch yet, I'm kind of going to suggest that you do. Um, I was a holdout for a really long time, but um, if something happens, they're just going to kind of give you the, oh well, because they did send out the notice, um, I want to say in November. So Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna open up GoodNotes. All right, in GoodNotes, I have a whole bunch of planners in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick one that's not too huge because depending on the size of the planner that you're trying to export, as of the filming of this video, GoodNotes does not handle gigantic files very well. And I'll show you how I get around that later on in the video. But for now, let's just take a smallish file and we'll export that one as a PDF. So I'm gonna take this Renaissance kit. This is just one page. But what you wanna do is you wanna to go to this up arrow thing right here. You're gonna see export this page and export all. Now, usually if you're trying to export a full planner, you want to export all, which I'm gonna push even though this is just one page. So then it's gonna come up here. Do you want this as a PNG or PDF, sorry. Do you want it as a image or do you want it as a GoodNotes file? I'm gonna export this one as a PDF. So you can change the name of your file. Where it has here include page background, yes. All of this stuff down here, just leave it as it is. And then you're gonna hit export. It's going to assess the document and then say, where do you want this to go? So I usually send mine to my Google Drive. Um, you can airdrop it to say your MacBook or another um, tablet or your phone, but um, I have found in my experience that exporting it to the drive is the fastest way. And if you're dealing with larger files, faster is better, trust me. So I'm just gonna hit drive and then it's gonna say, okay, is this a good spot? I'm gonna say yes and then upload. So when it comes back to your main screen, it is uploaded and you're good to go. So I can go into my Google Drive. Oh, right here. I need to refresh. And then you can see that it is right here and it is a PDF. So say you're backing up your monthly, like if you're doing extreme planning or if you do memory planning, anything like that. The first thing you wanna do is download that PDF file. So I'm just gonna hit these three dots here. Open in. And then save to files. I'm just gonna save it to my cloud drive. And then I'm gonna go in here to files. And there it is. So now the reason that I do this is because very rarely, but you don't wanna be caught with your pants down, very rarely GoodNotes will export a corrupted file. So before you delete anything, come in here, double check what it put out and make sure that it is you know, the way that it needs to be. So I look at this, I say, yep, it's how I want it to be. Excuse me, sassy frog. So then I can come back into GoodNotes, go over here to this page, hit this select tool, highlight this one and trash it. And then I hit done. So then I can go to this new thing, go to import. And then I'm gonna go to my cloud drive where I brought it to. And I'm gonna hit that PDF and now it's imported. So here's the difference between PDFs and GoodNotes files. PDFs are flat, they're, they're flattened, they take up less memory and they take up less space. So they're not as big of files. However, you can't change them. So if I hit my select tool, I have to hit my pencil out, but if I hit my select tool, nothing happens. This is just like a blank background page as far as GoodNotes cares. I can still write on top of it, I can draw on it, just like that, no problem, but I can't, these aren't stickers that I can move. So anything that's on this PDF is here, period. Now, if you export this as a GoodNotes file, 
you will have access to everything. Watch, I'll show you. So we're going to go here again. Oh, wait, this is the PDF version. Hold on. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go to this meditation file here. You can see this one. You can move the stickers just like you would expect. So now I'm going to hit this up arrow and I'm going to go to export. For this one, I'll just do export this page. The process is the exact same. Export this page. And now instead of PDF, I'm going to hit good notes. Include the page background, include annotations, export. Same thing, it's gonna say, where do you wanna put this? And I'm gonna, once again, put it on my drive. Upload. Okay, so now I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna trash this one just because I already have this saved. All right, so then I can go to new, import. And now instead of being on my cloud drive, I'm gonna go to Google Drive. Come down, oh, I have to refresh. Google Drive, I'm gonna hit these three dots. Same thing, open in, and now I'm gonna open in GoodNotes. Import as a new document. And now you can see, you can move everything just like you would originally. Why would you need to export a GoodNotes file? If you're doing a backup, you really don't. So you would only need to export a GoodNotes file if say, um, you're making sticker book for somebody, or if you're, you know, starting an Etsy store and you want to sell good notes files, this is how you do it. Um, but otherwise, if you're just doing a backup, save it as a PDF and let it ride. So I keep copies of all of my planners in PDF form on my Google drive. Um, so if I go in here, import locations, yeah, here we go. Planner backups. Then you can see I have all of my planners in here backed up. So I'm gonna just hit this Inktober one. And then it brings it right in. Now these again are PDFs, so they're flattened. You can't change anything, but if it's a backup copy of something that you're done with, you don't need to change it anyways. So doing it this way is going to save space in your good notes folders and it's also going to save memory so if you're having a lot especially toward the end of the year y'all if you're having a lot of crashes in good notes memory is probably your culprit so if you're having problems with good notes crashing over and over again which i think we've all experienced at this point double check what you got in here so if you have like toward the end of the year my 2019 planner i want to say was over 500 meg now that was as a pdf so as a GoodNotes file, my God, it must have been gigantic. Um, so, uh, but I exported it as a PDF and then I took it to a PDF compressor and I got it down to, I think, 40 meg. So from 500 plus down to 40, that alone helped my GoodNotes be a lot more stable. Um, another thing too that you want to make sure you're mindful of, not that this is a GoodNotes fix video, but... If you go into your settings here and go to trash bin, this one, look at all this crap I have in the trash bin. See, when you erase something in GoodNotes, it doesn't just go away. You have to go in to the trash bin and say empty trash, or you can select one file and say delete immediately. Then that'll get rid of it forever so it's not taking up space and memory on your GoodNotes app. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. We have had so many new subscribers this week. So welcome. Hi, I'm Jenna. I don't know if I said that, but thanks a lot, guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.